eggplant. You want some eggplant? Want some eggplant, Nico? Yeah, we're making some eggplant. Uh, we're starting right now. It's going to be two minutes before we have eggplant. We're going to make sure that the oil is very hot. Mm -hmm. Which you can tell by spraying a little water in. Just a tiny bit. Just okay, a tiny so bit. boiling immediately. It's ready to go. So we're cutting some eggplants. They're about uh, one centimeter, half an inch thick. Where did these... Where did all those eggplant come from? Oh, from our garden. <laughs> yeah, this thing has been a cornucopia of uh, eggplant for sure. So many, and there, there are even more. There are even more as well from the garden that you can't see. What kind of knife should you be using? Oh, I like to use a French knife for this, um, or any kind of chopping knife, but. Basically, anything small you can rock back and forth like this, but this eggplant's a little thick, so you kind of have to just chop at it like, like this. So it's a little more of a sawing action. So you could even look, use like a butcher knife or something. Good to know. Why do you cut on a cutting board instead of like just the. Oh, yeah, it's a big table. misconception. So a lot of people use what they think is a cutting board, but it's actually like a, a cheese plate or a serving plate. It's like glass or ceramic, but uh, it's stronger than your knife blade. So what's going to happen is this, this delicate blade of your knife is going to be um, pitted and, and bent. It's going to bend when you cut on this thing. So what the wood does is two things, actually. One is that it absorbs the blade. So it's going to go, the blade's going to go in to the, the wood a little bit. So it's going to scar the wood. And what that does is protect your knife so it stays sharp, so um, you can continue cutting things. The other thing, I prefer wood over plastic because wood has a lot of enzymes and antibacterial properties. It's a, it's a living thing. I mean, we've, ki we've killed it, we've made it into a cutting board, but it still has the properties of a living thing. And it, it, it's antimicrobial. It, it, uh, it kills bacteria and stuff. So I think it's better to use a wooden cutting board than a plastic one, but never glass uh, or ceramic because it'll just destroy your knives. You may as well just put your knife into a, like a, a blender or something. Just, if you're wondering like, why do I cry when I cut onions? It's because your knives are dull. Cut with a sharp knife, you know? And then what's happening is with the sharp blade, you're gonna cut through, but with the dull blade, you're actually smashing the onion and it sprays onion juice everywhere. So use a knife. Now you know. Why is this smoking? Oh, because it's too hot. It's too hot. It's I got too distracted. Hot. I got distracted talking to you guys. I'm sorry. So, so what I'm doing here is I'm wetting this uh, eggplant just a little bit so that the, um, uh, the flour will stick to it. And, uh, oops, we forgot to say goodbye to Nick. How did you season the, how do you season the fried oh. eggplant? Okay, so uh, I put a little salt and pepper in flour. I put enough salt in here that it tastes good. So when I pinch it, I'm going to go like that. I put it in my mouth. It's good. It tastes like seasoning. Um, just salt and pepper, that's it. Very simple. There we go, now we have some eggplant frying in the skillet there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And they're almost done, we get a plate. So we can smoke it everywhere. There we go. This so you do. brought the temperature down a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll bring it down half a notch. Once and oil, oil. So there's a little bit of chemistry in here. Uh, maybe we can move this up. So, you know, when you boil things in water, uh, the water actually maintains its temperature really well. People don't realize this, but water has something called a high specific uh, high specific gravity. I think that's what it is. Um, and uh, what that means is that it takes a lot of energy to change the temperature of water. It's one of the reasons we think that like a boil, you know, you don't watch a, what is it, a watch pot never boil, something like that. Water takes a long time, a lot of energy to change temperature. However, oil doesn't. Oil will change temperature very dramatically. So as soon as we put these eggplant in, it's going to drop the temperature of this oil um, by 10, 20, 30 degrees, who, who knows. So. Just these few little things. Then it has to raise back up again. So it's actually hard to maintain the temperature of the oil when you're frying if you're putting a lot of items in. So you gotta kinda control how much you put in, how long you put it in for, you gotta watch it a little more. Oil's really sensitive. 
So what I'm looking for on this, we can we can pan down again on the camera. I just flip these over, and what I'm looking for is that this, uh, just like making pancakes, this side that I just flipped over is a little crispy. We want crispiness on the outside because the eggplant's going to absorb a little oil and be soft. So we want this combination of when you bite into it to have a, a crispy exterior and this, this soft, delicate interior and uh, for that salt to melt in when we cook it. So this is almost ready, the first batch, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to take this out. You can see that that's starting to change color. It's got a nice color to it. And I'll just put that on the plate. We don't have any paper towel or anything right now, so... Oh, that was probably under five minutes uh, for both sides there. Just yeah. The clock there. Yeah. Okay, I'm so gonna... you really have to be attentive. Yeah, and this is... I mean, we're making bread, basically. So the temperature of the oil is going to be hot. You need oil. We're, we put a... I, I made a mistake. I put some sunflower oil in there, which has a low uh, smoking point. So we're going to smoke up the house. But you want an oil that's going to hold, like... Uh, 300 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit if you if you can. Different oils uh, basically evaporate at different temperatures. They're not all created equal. So you want an oil that's gonna gonna carry a lot of heat. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to fry your your uh, your eggplant. You're not gonna be able to make bread. And if your oil goes too hot, you don't realize it. So the smoking the smoking can actually be a good thing because if you know that your oil like olive oil, I think does something like 280. So all of those are good oil. It has a nice flavor. It's expensive, but it fries uh, bread at a good temperature. So if you're kind of an amateur like me, you can use olive oil and use that as your, your indicator that you're at the right temperature. But if you use something that's a really heavy oil, like, uh, like uh, what's it called? Palm kernel oil, Crisco, then uh, it can go much higher, I think like 400 degrees, and you won't even realize that you're going twice the temperature you need to fry your, to make your bread, to make your batter, and uh, you can burn your batter like, very, very quickly, like in seconds. You can put it in and it's like, <laughs> you scorch it. So um, I actually don't mind using a lighter oil that, that smokes at that temperature a little bit so I can see like, that's going at the right temperature. I know what's happening with that oil. Okay, now that we've gone over a little bit about how to fry up some eggplant, I'm gonna open up the windows in the house. We're gonna see you later because we have to de-smoke this it's, place. It's pretty smoky. All right. Yeah. Part of our goal in doing this is to demonstrate like we're regular people. Sometimes we don't cook like professionals. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we want to demonstrate like, hey, this is how you make a mistake, learn and bounce back from it, and still have a tasty good time. Yeah, this is delicious. Mmm. Mm. It's crunchy on the outside. Crunchy. Soft on the inside. Goes great with yogurt. Oh my god. So deep. Yeah. Deep. Mm. Try oh. out different like dips with um, your fried eggplant. Let us know what you think. What is your favorite dip? Maybe we should do a video about how to make a few different sauces or dips, and we'd love to hear from you about that. All right. We'll see you on the flip side. Ciao, ciao. Bye for now.